Hello, hola gringo. Hello. Hello guys, I am back. Shh. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's been months. It's been months. I've been playing Valorant. Look how good I am. I'm Diamond too, bro. That's not pretty bad. It's not pretty bad. Pretty, pretty uh, far from Radiant. I tried downloading some horror games, but you'd want to see how fast it is, dude. Look, my peak is 1.1 megabytes per second. So instead, I'm just gonna watch some reaction videos. What? Instead, I'm gonna react to some videos. Let's get started. Disneyland is supposed to be the happiest place on earth. But if these videos are to be believed, it could also be a place of horror and even the paranormal. Number 11. This, am this amateur footage catches a Disney worker dressed as Pluto chasing a small child in circles. Do the what? ordeal looks rather comical at first until you hear the small child funny, clearly screaming for his life and realize that this is no joke. Just as Pluto is about to grab Dude, the why child, is Pluto trying to grab him, bro? him around by the arm and tells him off. The whole park is watching at this point, so Pluto immediately goes back into character and tries to act huh? like nothing serious happened. He walks away. Bro, he was just having up. fun, dude. As surprise parents continue to film. Nah, him, she's on Twitter, bro. She's what been on Twitter. The Disney what the hell? Go off like this. Though one rumor is that the child possibly kicked him. According to the uploader, Pluto was escorted Pluto. away by a park employee, possibly security, shortly after. Bro, Burger a kid, King e foot even lettuce. if that happened, bro, if a kid hits you, it doesn't hurt. So why are you pissed off, bro? Get off Twitter. Tower of Terror ride. One day, all alone. According to the surveillance video, however, he may not have been so alone after all. What do you mean? A phantom-like figure briefly appears in the sea directly behind Shut the up. mechanic, but he doesn't notice and keeps going down a safety checklist of some sort. That's a shadow, bro. A Shut up, later, man. Look what happens about That's a shadow. To the left of where it can even be seen. edited, dude. All this fake, man. Chilies. I thought you were good, bro. Chilies. Chills. I thought you were good, man. This is the same guy as number 13, Burger King Foot Lettuce. Number 9. A YouTuber named Dare to be Crimson Lace was at Disneyland during the summer of 2015 when she says this strange black floating ring suddenly materialized over Tomorrowland at around 10 at night. Dude, that's just probably the outline of the moon. These guys are overthinking. A YouTuber man. named what CGA the is with her family at a Holy Disney theme shit. park when they decide scary. to turn around and take a quick group video. This split second decision is all it takes for something bad to happen. What? One member of the family is standing way too close huh? to the parade float, and the camera catches everything that happens next. It looks like the what girl happened? simply loses her balance, but what you can't see is a large wheel going over both her feet. According to the description of this video, the family was forced to pay for medical expenses out of pocket, even though they say that no barrier was in place to prevent this from happening. They well, you were close to it, bro. You stupid. Just don't go happened. too close to it. It's like going to a car and then walking in front of it while it's driving and then suing it, bro. Number seven. A YouTuber named Dan Logan Iffy shot this Disneyland footage almost 10 years ago, and it still remains a paranormal point of contention even today. Dan's filming the end of a typical Disney fireworks show when he sees something strange and zooms in. A gray specter appears to be admiring the show from atop his perch on the Walt Disney Castle. It watches the final barrage of fireworks for a bit longer and then silently disappears from sight. Bro, that's a flag. You see that? There's another one right there. I'm not sure what it was, but I do agree that the timing is very eerie. I mean, the ghost or whatever. Is that coming from the video or from outside, bro? Number six. I'm watching this. The Indiana Jones stunt show is a dramatic recreation of the movie performed in front of a live audience. 
During this part of the show, the main character is ordinarily supposed to outrace a giant prop boulder and barely escape. This is what happens instead. Dude, my right ear is enjoying the video. My right ear is enjoying it. You can hear a terrified what? scream emerge from the crowd as the boulder goes off track and heads straight towards the audience. Watch this part and you can see how the boulder would have probably smashed into the front row had it not hit a hole in the stage and slowed down. I guess the real question with this video is how much does the fake boulder weigh? People have said everything from as much as 440 pounds to as little as 80 pounds, but no real sources have been verified. If only we knew how much the prop boulder weighed, we'd know how much danger the audience was actually in. Either way, this was- Look at how much it's bouncing, bro. It's a balloon. It's literally just a balloon. It's not the bro. last time Chill, that the Indiana man. Jones stage like play would ball, have problems. A giant soc football. Many years later in football, 2009, not soccer, an football. actor's number five, these visitors are boarding the Space Mountain ride when apparently something decides to go with them. Watch it approach from the left side of the screen and let me know if you see it or not. What is that, bro? What are you talking about? A transparent beam of light appears to move into the roller coaster bro, and then suddenly that's a vanishes. Shadow. Some people it's have claimed that this is a famous ghost it's called Mr. One Way. According to legend, this ghost will sit next to you on a ride and have a conversation for a while before disappearing. This looks like it could just be a glitch in some grainy VHS tape it's too much, but shadow. some people claim that this is indiscretion and not. This bizarre video of Space Mountain was recorded by a YouTuber named Jake Tungsten. Jake originally recorded it just to have a memory of the thrilling ride forever, but when he reviewed it later, he saw what in his words was a real ghost. Some sort of phantasm does seem to briefly materialize and hover in the right side of the screen as the roller coaster passes by. Then the same thing happens as the roller coaster climbs upwards. Finally, a transparent figure briefly appears to the right of the track during the descent. Dude, I'm not that sure can if these be are anything. Real or just some sort of hologram projections created by Disney, but the man who recorded this is absolutely convinced that he has caught a ghost on tape. It could even be the famous Mr. One Way ghost seen in the previous video. If you Bro, if that's a ghost, then every man who looks at a guy is gay. Exactly, it makes no sense. Yes. Move on. Number Nobody three. cares. A YouTuber named Adam Edwards is making a Disneyland vlog when suddenly something sinister decides to make an unwanted guest appearance behind him. Hey guys, so today we're in Disneyland and um, I'm gonna look out the new ride. Two hands reach out for him from behind a red curtain with long gnarled fingers. Adam quickly turns the corner and finds nothing where the hands just were. He goes back around the corner, and as soon as he starts talking, the hands return, yet when he checks again, nothing's there. I did notice that he never checks around the floor, so this could be a pre-planned prank. If that's the case, I'm guessing his friend was on the other side, and they ducked down as soon as Adam went around the corner. Yes. Still, let me know if you recognize this part of Disneyland, and if you've ever Shut experienced up, man. Any that's his friend, bro. If they're faking, bro, it's YouTube. The they have to fake it to get views. apparently happened at Disney World. There's literally According nothing to the else video's to YouTube. Description, though I haven't been able to find any additional information since it cannot be what confirmed. What the fuck? My guess is that the video is from an unrelated amusement park. Watch this video for yourself and see if you can recognize the ride. Yo, that is crazy. My guy is everyone is okay but seeing as the roller coaster My guy says I really hope everyone is okay Do you not see what just happened to them Look at this That's like 50 feet tall I don't know how big that is but that seems about right You're not going to survive that bro you're dead Nobody's going to come up to you and be like 
Hey, sir, are you okay after that fall? Well, quite, yes, I am. I have my seatbelt on, don't you see? Before we get to number one, my name is Chills. My Shut up, bro, I don't like you. You don't know the number one is... Shame and believe. Also, follow me. Proven Shut the fuck up, bro, move America on. Sings, ...where robotic animals oh would sing God. together as one. Animatronics was a relatively new Why, technology bro? at the time, and this footage was taken just weeks after the attraction debuted. Yankee Doodle liked the South, sang their songs so dear, thought they were most elegant for everyone to hear. The show is going as planned, until a loud interruption happens just seconds after the lights go down. What you just heard was supposedly the final screams of a Disneyland employee named Deborah Stone. Deborah was an announcer for America Sings, and she passed away after accidentally stepping into a powerful mechanical device used to rotate the walls of the theater. Apparently, Deborah's demise is a true story, but I can't tell if this scream was really hers or added in later. The scream itself does sound a little too clear to me, and possibly sounds like it was recorded using modern equipment, but I'm definitely not an expert in this department. If you think this scream was real, then be sure to let me know how you can tell. Babies in to- Hi, hi, bro. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless me up, bro. Bless me, bless me. Bless me, I don't want to see any dumb things anymore. Come on, man. Hey! Okay, well that's funny. If you want to see me do a reaction video, make sure to check out my next video. You know what I'm saying? It's uh over here. See ya. Okay, <laughs> bro, I haven't done this in such a long time.